Today, it's Batman Day. Oh yeah! Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. So today, we will take a look at a few Batman costumes from the various Batman movies. Uh, someone requested that some time ago. Didn't get around to doing that until today. I thought today being Batman Day would be a great opportunity to do that. So today's the day of days. We're going to do that right now. I'm pretty sure what was meant with that request with the live action uh, movie costumes. But there is one movie feature that was not a live action. It was Batman Mask of the Phantasm. So I thought we could uh, do that one as well. Uh, this is pretty much as close to the Batman. Basically it's Batman from the animated series. And it had one feature film called Mask of the Phant Phantasm. And uh, the look of the character was pretty darn close to this. Of course, the way Bruce Timm was drawing uh, Batman was a, a lot more, uh, let's say, beefy, a lot uh, bigger. But uh, within the context of this universe online, this is about as close as we can get. So obviously, you need the Batman call, you need the Batwoman cape, the fin gloves. For the belt, I'm using the Batman Beyond belt, the Beyond High Tech belt. Obviously, the new Genesis pants, the owl boots. The Owl Suit Boots from uh, the Evil Owl, owl Man. And uh, that pretty much covers how you can recreate Batman from the animated series. Obviously, you need the Batman 80th Anniversary Emblem. And uh, sadly, if you don't already have that emblem, uh, too late, you can't have it anymore. It's sad. Maybe they'll give us another emblem at some point. Although right now, we do have the, uh, the Flashpoint Batman Emblem. I guess you could use that until uh, we do get another Batman Emblem in the future. So this is pretty much as close to Batman from the Batman Mask of the Phantasm movie as I could get. And of course, the first Batman feature we ever had was Bat the Batman movie in 1966. Way back when, this is uh, as good as it could get in terms of uh, superhero movies. And uh, I can tell you as a kid, we loved it. It's pretty much the same stuff I had uh, just before uh, with a different color scheme a bit. And the, uh, I have a different call, which is the Daring Vigilante call. And also to be able to mimic uh, the call aspect, like you can see, to, to have the, the neck covered in blue, I'm using the high collar uh, chest piece. So basically by making the top of the chest piece blue, you can almost mimic having a call as opposed to just a, a head piece. There was some uh, live action Batman before 1966. But it was a uh, Batman from the, the various uh, serials, so I did not include it in the include uh, those costumes in this video. So this is pretty much as close to the Batman from 1989 as I was able to get. Uh, most of it is pretty much the same stuff I had before, and the exception would be maybe the Daring Village Vigilante gloves. But for the chest piece and the pants, any slimline that would do the trick. For the boots, here I'm using the Gotham Outlaw boots. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the eyes. In order to be able to get the eyes, because I'm using also the, the stealth material, to be able to get the nice rubber look that the Batman from 1989 had, the stealth material is perfect for that. But sadly, if you cover the headpiece with the, the stealth material, you lose the eyes of the character. In order to be able to keep the eyes, I'm using the bug goggles in order to be able to do that. Obviously, if you do not have the stealth material, then just put the costume black and you can almost to create the same costume. As you can see, the stealth material really helped to create the look because without the stealth material, it lacks the rubber look that the costume had. They had a few tweaks when, when they made uh, the movie Batman Returns, but it was mostly the same costume, but it looked a bit more armored as opposed to just being a plain rubber suit. But I guarantee you, most people did not even realize that there was a new costume in Batman Returns. And then we had Batman Forever, and the Valkyrie starts with the costume pretty much looking like this. I think maybe the belt was in yellow, but they, he still had the, the yellow emblem, at least at the start of the film. Yeah, I just did a quick search. Basically, Valkyrie started with the yellow oval bat, but uh, he didn't have the, the yellow belt. Here I'm using the owl suit belt. It kind of looks uh, like the belt he was using. Uh, if we could have a bat emblem instead of the, the owl man emblem, it probably would be almost perfect. But uh, later on in the film, the yellow bat emblem pretty much replaced with just uh, a bat in relief in the costume, which sadly didn't have the, the high contrast that the yellow bat, uh, the, that the bat in the yellow oval used to have. 
So in order to recreate that look, I'm using uh, the Future Crusader chest piece. Uh, the, the look should look disarmored, but sadly within the context of this Universal 9, this is uh, the closest I could find. For the belt, I'm using the Owl Suit belt, the, the belt from the Evil Owl Man. The pants, I'm using the Dark Spectre pants. And again, I'm using uh, the stealth material to make everything look like a nice uh, black rubber costume. Obviously, the ears should be longer, but the only long ears we have are either with the Batman Beyond uh, headpiece or the Dawnbreaker headpiece. So there might be another one I forget, but there's no really a, a Batman headpiece like this that has long ears, at least not yet. And then we had George Clooney, who kind of had an emblem like the yellow oval Batman emblem, but without the yellow. Uh, sadly, within the context of this universe online, I, I could not really find anything that kind of looked like that. So either you go with the yellow emblem or you go with one of the other bat emblem, uh, you decide. And then we had a costume that I guess within the context of the story was supposed to be a costume to be able to protect them again against the cold from uh, the evil Mr. Freeze. But obviously it was just uh, another costume to be able to get another action figure that they could make. But uh, we can recreate a pretty good looking version actually of that costume using the steel chromo material. For the shoulders, I'm using the Scion of Ion shoulders. Uh, the belt, I'm using uh, the Daring Vigilante belt. For the pants, I'm using the Angelic pants, but there's a whole bunch of different pants that would do the trick. And I have to admit, I really like this look. The, the I, I'm in love with the Stanley on Chromo material. I love the look it gives. I love the metallic uh, feeling, the metallic look it gives to any styles. And here it's no different. Even though in the movie the costume was uh, probably an, ab an abomination, uh, here I, I, I love it. And then we have the Christopher Nolan Batman from uh, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Technically, they made they made different costumes for every movie, but it was it was pretty much more of the same. Uh, at the end of the day, it was just a rubber suit, and they add the, they put a whole bunch of uh, different lines on the rubber suit to try to give the illusion that it was made up made up of uh, a whole bunch of uh, small parts put together. But it, it was just uh, a movie trick, a movie illusion. It was just a rubber suit with a whole bunch of lines to try to suggest uh, that idea. So here I'm using the Stalwart Defender uh, style, the, the chest piece and the, the pants, in order to be able to recreate those lines. Ironically enough, that is where the, the, the look for the New 52 kind of came from. When Jim Lee redesigned the Batman for the New 52, uh, basically he tried to reproduce a bit the, the armored look that the, the, Batman, uh, the Batman from Christopher Nolan or from Batman Begin uh, was supposed to have. And that's what he tried to use to, to redesign Batman for the New 52, to try to turn his costume into some sort of armor that was made up of a whole bunch of different plates. And when you see Batman Begins, it kind of sort of pull off the trick because the, the, the costume we've seen a lot in darkness. But when you see the Dark Knight Rises, it is quite clearly a rubber suit. You even see the way the waist of the suit bands, especially uh, around the knees or around the elbows, uh, you can clearly tell that it is simply a rubber suit. They just gave it uh, some sort of lines, some sort of patterns uh, to try to give the illusion that it's a bunch of plate put together. Uh, here the, there's a few, a couple of things that I've changed. Not much though, I, I've changed the, the, for the gloves, I went with the Beyond High Tech gloves, the Batman Beyond gloves. The belt is the uh, Green Arrow belt, the High Density Tactical belt. And for the emblem, I went with the Rebirth emblem. Uh, basically, the, the Batman costume in the Nolan films was pretty much one color. And this is fairly close to uh, to what the costume actually, actually did look like. And then we have the Batman from Batman vs Superman. This is also the look that he had pretty much at the start of the Justice League. Although I gave it a bit more contrast, it should almost pretty much be uh, all the same uh, shades of grey almost everywhere. There's a few places where the gray was a bit darker, but when you saw it on the screen with the lighting and the shadow and everything and the color timing especially, it kind of looked almost like one color. But here I gave it a bit more contrast uh, to try to make it a bit more interesting, let's say. In order to be able to get the chest piece and the pants to kind of look like the, the texture that the costume had in the movie, I went with the Jute chest piece and pants. Uh, you can get those at the Halloween seasonal. I'm showing the name because I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing that, 
but basically this is what I, I used. For the gloves, I'm using the future Batman gloves, the future Crusader. Uh, the belt is the DC Bombshell Harley Quinn belt. And the emblem, of course, that's the official BVS emblem. So it's the official emblem from Batman v Superman. And basically it comes from the Batman vs Superman swag bag we had when the movie was uh, was released. And sadly, the emblem was available only for roughly one month. So if you did not purchase it right there and then, so sad, too late, you can't have it anymore. And in the BVS, in the dream sequence that uh, Bruce Wayne has, we saw a pretty cool version of Batman that became known pretty much as the Desert Batman. And this looks pretty darn close to the, the look of the character. For the goggles, I'm using uh, the DC Bombshell Harley Quinn goggles. For the coat, I'm using the Gunslinger Slinger coat. There's probably the Hush coat that would do the trick, but uh, we cannot get the emblem uh, with it. And in some of the photos, we can. Uh, there is the Batman emblem uh, on the costume, but you can barely see it. Uh, again, I gave it a bit more contrast so that we could actually see it. But in a lot of the photos, it's almost the same gray as the the, the, the chest piece itself. For the pants, I'm using the Lobo pants. He had this sort of uh, gun uh, holster at the, at the hip, or so it seemed. And everything, everything else we've seen before: the, the all suit boots, the future Batman gloves. There isn't that many trench coat that could do the trick. Uh, the hush coat, I guess, could kind of work, but you don't have the Batman emblem. And uh, the trench coat, I guess, could be an option, but uh, it looks it looks horrible. I guess the electrostatic could be an option, but again, doesn't really have the Batman emblem. Another option like the detective, uh, not really. Actually, not at all. So the Gunslinger, pretty much a better option for our friend, the, the Desert Batman. And of course, in Batman vs Superman, we have a version of Batman that uses a big, huge armor. Basically, the look for Batman in BVS was lifted straight from the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, as much with the, the, the costume that Batman has at first, and the costume that Batman has when he fights Superman. And here I'm using the metallic uh, material to give us a nice uh, metallic look to our Batman armor. Uh, most of that I've already used before, although the pants, I'm, I'm using the bionic pants. The chest piece is the Star X uh, chest piece. The shoulders are the Apocalyptian shoulders. And the headpiece is the future Batman headpiece, the future Crusader headpiece. So it gives us a nice approximation of uh, Batman from uh, the armored Batman from BVS. There's a handful of other chest pieces that could be used. So if you don't have exactly this chest piece, but you have another chest piece that kind of looks like that, I yeah, use that. Uh, for the material, I'm using the metallic material. I thought it was worth uh, showing because make sure people don't confuse it with. There's a whole bunch of uh, metallic material, but there's uh, all the other metallic materials are like metallic chroma materials. Uh, let's show you one for example. So what I'm using is not one of the many metallic chroma material. It's the literally metallic material that you can get from your friend uh, Booster Gold at this point. You could also probably get it from the broker, but it's probably very expensive on the broker. And uh, I have to admit, I can't recall the last time I even saw it on the broker. And then we have Batman from the Justice League movie. Uh, as I mentioned before, he pretty much starts with the costume that you see in the armory, although with a, with a lot less contrast, but I thought it looked a bit more interesting with some contrast. And then later on, he ends up again with a, a suit that's completely black. Uh, that's supposed to be again some sort of armor. That's a whole bunch of armor uh, put, put together. But again, here I'm using uh, pretty much uh, all of this you pretty much saw before, like the future Batman uh, chest piece, the future Batman pants, the, the future Batman gloves. The boots, I pretty much use the owl boots uh, throughout the, most of the thing, except maybe once or twice. Obviously, the headpiece is always the Dark Knight's cowl. Uh, the cape has pretty much been uh, the Batwoman cape the whole time. And at some point in the movie, they decided that Batman needed some glasses somehow. So here I'm using the biker glasses to sort of reproduce uh, the look he had. Uh, the one thing I've added that I guess I didn't have before was the Argus shoulders thought it made him look uh, a bit bulkier and uh, made him look a bit more uh, imposing or impressive, I would say. And then we have The Batman, which should be the next Batman movie that we'll see on the big screen. 
Although they've stopped uh, filming uh, recently because Robert Pattinson was sick. So I guess they'll start uh, and they'll resume uh, filming as soon as they can. I had a bit of a, uh, let's say, challenging time trying to recreate that look for a few reasons. Uh, and also I gave it a bit more contrast, uh, a bit like I did with the BBS costume. Uh, the, the costume from the, the Batman movie seems to be almost like one tone of grey and sometimes it seems to be darker grey, sometimes lighter grey depending on the lighting on the scene. But here I gave him a, maybe a, a little bit more contrast than I should have. And for the headpiece I'm using uh, the drowned headpiece. It's the closest that I could find that that, that, that kind of looked like uh, the, the headpiece that Robert Pattinson has. Obviously you shouldn't have a robot eye like, uh, like here. But, oh uh, well, within the context of DC Universe Online, you do what you can. And the same also for the chest piece. The chest piece here, I'm using the, the speed metal chest piece. Because they decided to, they had the idea when they made the, the, the emblem for the new Batman costume. Apparently, the emblem is made up from the, the gun that killed his parents. Uh, I guess he, he cut it in half and each half creates like a one wing of the bat. Uh, obviously, we don't have an emblem like that in DC Universe Online. But I thought that the... Uh, the two half pieces of the bat emblem sort of it reminded me a bit of the the speed metal chest piece so i decided to use that for the shoulders i'm using the vengeful sh uh, surgeon shoulders for the hands uh, the gloves he had pretty much looked like the dr maynight gloves so that's what i went with the belt the simple utility belt would do the trick the pants are the future batman pants and for the boots i'm still using the owl suit boots the the boots from the evil owl man and obviously for the, the cape, um, I pretty much used the Batwoman cape throughout the whole bit. There's a handful of other capes I guess you could use if you don't have the Batwoman cape for some reason. There's the Batgirl cape, there's the future Batman cape. There might be another cape that I fail to recall. But overall, if you do have the Batwoman cape, it works well enough to recreate pretty much uh, any version of the Batman. So that pretty much covers our Batman costumes from the movies. Although if there's one costume that somehow I forgot to include, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see what I can do about it, including it and maybe in a future video. There's a whole bunch of cool looking uh, Batman costume that I could make uh, using the various materials and various styles. A costume that don't really come from uh, any sources. So I, I might make a follow up video with a, a whole bunch of uh, cool uh, Batman look that you can recreate in this universe online. I haven't done one of those in quite a while. And also there's uh, so one of you had asked at some point that I make a video about uh, Batman in the various Lantern Corps costume. Uh, basically, we had a version of Batman that was a uh, Green Lanterns in various stories. Uh, there was a Black Lantern at some point. There was a White Lantern. So, uh, odds are I'll probably make one of those videos as well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below. And that's what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point. So if I don't answer your question right away, just search my videos. Odds are I already made a video that answered your question. That's going to be pretty much it for now, guys. So don't forget, today is Batman Day. Go get your free Batman gifts while you can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.